Okay, we're looking at 2016, Ordinary Level Leaving Cert, Paper 2, Question 7D, Part 2. So they tell us about 12, cylind uh, the other 12 cylindrical pipes connect the outer spheres to each other. Each pipe has a radius of 1.45 and all 12 pipes are equal in length. So just to comparison to D, Part 1, we were talking about different pipes. So don't accidentally mix your two questions together. This is basically a new question. It could be Part E instead of Part D, Part 2 or whatever. So what we're going to do first is we're going to draw a cylinder just to help us see the problem. And we're told that the radius is 1.45 metres. Okay, so it's 1.45 and we're told that, that all 12 pipes are equal in length. So I don't know the length of the pipe. So I'm going to call it uh, X just for now. You can call it L, you can call it H, you can call it whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to call it X. Okay, doesn't really matter. Um, the sum of the curved surface areas of the 12 pipes is 3170. Find the length of one pipe, give your answer correct to the nearest meter. Right, a, big, a lot to this question. Let's try to find if it's 3170 for 12 pipes. Okay, then let's just find it for one pipe. So 3170 divided by 12 will tell me that for one pipe it's... And now, we get a non-exact answer here. We get 264.1666666. It ends up with a fraction. So what I'm going to do, because I'm going to be super smart, is I'm going to say that it's 150.1585 divided by 6 is equal to one pipe. Okay? Now you might be saying, oh no, it's a fraction. Look, shh, don't worry about that. That's okay. 1585 divided by 6. I'm just going to write it over here. It doesn't matter that it's a fraction. A fraction's a number, you know. But what we've got is we've got the area for one pipe. Okay, cool. So now then we're going to look at using our curved surface area equation again. So area equals, uh, now I need to remind myself so I don't accidentally write down the right formula, wrong formula. So I go to page 10 in my log tables. And the area of a cylinder is 2 pi r h. And I'm going to fill in all the stuff I know. So this is for one pipe. So for one pipe, the area is this number we just found. So this is 1585 divided by 6. Equals 2 by pi. My radius is 1.45. And my height, I'm going to call x. You could leave height as just h. That's fine as well. It doesn't matter. It's just a letter to represent. Now, um, let's just take a moment and clean up a bit. I can't do anything on this side, so let's leave it alone. 2 pi, two pi by 1.45. So if I put that in my calculator, I end up getting, hit the change button, 29 over 10 pi. Now, I'm happy that this is getting a bit messy because I want to talk about rearranging or cleaning up fractions anyway. So what we have here is, oh, we have some fractions and people hate fractions. They get upset about fractions. They get confused. So let's do the following. Let's clear up the fractions. So how would I get rid of six on the bottom? I would multiply this side by six. But if I multiply the left by six, I also have to multiply the right. How do I get rid of 10? Well, I'd multiply this side by 10. But if I multiply the right, I have to multiply the left. So what I'm going to do, just to show this, is these 10s cancel, these 6s cancel. I'm going to multiply this side by 10. So you can do that in your calculator, or you might just say it's 15850. I'm going to multiply 29 by 6, or that side by 6, and I get 174 pi x. Now, look, some, some of you might just go straight in the calculator and know exactly what to do from that last step fine or even from here fine okay I'm not worried about that I'm more explaining this in slow motion for those that are struggling how do I get rid of 174 pi here with the x I'm going to divide by 174 pi okay it's multiplying with the x so I'm dividing but if I do it on the right I have to also do it on the left okay and again we get the same idea this guy cancels with this guy and that leaves us with 15850 one five eight five zero oh, divided by one seven four pi equals my x. So now I'm going to plug that in the calculator. 
and you can do it all in one at this point, 15850, all over 174 pi, hit the, boom, it gives me straight to a decimal. So it's told me it's 28.999, uh, 546.952, okay? Do you need to write out all the digits? No. Does it make a difference? Well, just go ahead and do it. Doesn't doesn't uh, stress your life either. So uh, then it said, give it to the nearest meter. So let's see there. Does the nine round up the eight? It certainly does. So the nearest meter would be twenty nine. Okay, and we're talking about length, so it's twenty nine meters. So not the only way to do that problem, right? You can. Also find the area for, for the 12 pipes and do it that way. Totally fine either way. Um, it doesn't matter as long as you're following the logic. I found it for one pipe and then I found the height of that one pipe, which will obviously be the same problem. Um, take your time. The manipulation is where most people get lost. So have a go at trying to do that. You can do it many ways. I've just done it one way. And I've done it where I tried to clear up fractions. Maybe you won't like that. That's fair enough, but you want to get comfortable with fractions. Um, yeah, that's the end of it. Uh, break a leg.